Welcome to Make Something with me, David Petruto, and today I'm going to show you how I bash out a handful of these clipboards that I can then sell at an upcoming craft show. Stick around to see how it's done. We're going to start today's project off with a little adventure. Let's go hop into Escalade and go for a ride. So we're going to head to my favorite wood store, Ken Craft. Awesome people. How you doing? We're shooting some video. We're gonna make some little clipboards, some fancy looking clipboards. Simple project today. Yeah. Let's go where the fancy stuff is. Some koa. I've never worked with koa before. Curly koa at that. It's got some nice color to it. So that's a possibility. I like this. Maybe have something dark down the middle. So we're here at Kencraft Hardwoods in Toledo, Ohio. I'm trying to pick out some woods to use for the clipboards. I think what I want to do is have like a lighter wood on the outside of the clipboard, maybe like a hard maple, and then on the inside, a dark wood, but with a, maybe a third type of wood. So we use three species of wood to make these fancy clipboards. Ooh, that's nice. That'll give us some fancy right there. The store is going to be in uh, Thursday's video. So we, we shot some video here, so. We'll, we'll get, get you some promotion. I got some clips for the cutting board. I think they're called low profile clips. You can get them on Amazon. I'll have a link down below. So I got a piece of walnut, a piece of maple, and some ebony here. And what I'm going to do is we're going to have basically the walnut's gonna be in the middle and it's gonna be sandwiched between two pieces of maple with a thin little piece of ebony in between. We're gonna make uh, three or four of these. We're gonna try to get three or four of these out of this. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to resaw these right in half. So I'm just gonna take a pencil line and mark the halfway point. These will end up being uh, probably just a little under a quarter inch thick. And so we'll start with something that's greater than that, and then we will plane them down or sand them down after glue up. I'm going to use the walnut for the middle pieces of the clipboard, so I'm going to cut them to three and a half inches wide. For the two outside maple pieces, I'm going to have them at three inches. That gives me a little bit of extra that I can trim off after the glue up. I have this piece of ebony here that we're going to cut some accent strips out of over here in the bandsaw. Man, that stinks. You should... It smells like cat turds. The bandsaw leaves a rough edge, so we're gonna flatten these out on the drum sander. So to get the most sufficient use out of this expensive ebony, I'm just gonna cut these down the middle to give me more pieces. Normally, I would glue everything up now, but my ebony strips are only 12 inches long, so I need to cut everything else into 12 inch strips over on the miter saw, and then we're going to glue it all up.
You could run these through the planer to thin them down, but I'm just gonna use the drum sander. It's quieter, easier on the ears, and it's a little bit more precise. All right, so now we're gonna head over to the table saw and clean up these edges and cut it down to size. So now I'm gonna use a socket as a template to draw my rounded corners. The outside of the disc is a little bit more aggressive, and so when I'm trying to get right up to the line, I use the inside of the disc. Earlier today on Twitter, Ken from Ken Ken Make It asked me when designing, what comes first, form or function? When I'm designing, the first most important thing is function and then I try to add form to that. And then it's a balance, it's back, it's back and forth. And to me, they're both important. And for everybody, it's different. For some people, form is more important and for other people, function is more important. So for me, it's a balance. It's a, it's a, it's a fun little game. We're just going to sand these up, uh, add some finish on there and attach the clips. All right, so now I have a piece of paper in my clip and this is just going to help me align where to, might be too long, so I might have to. Just wanna make sure I don't drill all the way through. After we put finish on here, I will epoxy this down as well as screw it down, just to give it a little bit more strength. You guys ready? Watch this. Eric and I listen to a lot of old school hip hop in the shop. But we have to turn it off when the camera's rolling so we don't get hit with the copyright strike. Curious to know what you guys like to listen to in the shop. Uh, I really love how the oil yellows the maple. Some people don't like that, mm, but to me, it looks like a juicy hamburger just waiting to be consumed by your mom. That was so rude. That was that was uncalled for. <laughs> Unsubscribe. I'd like to quickly tell you about how you can support me and my channel. Over on Patreon, we have all kinds of rewards. We have extended vlogs. We have weekly giveaways, somewhat weekly. We also do one-on-one -on -one Skype calls, which are crazy, awkward, and awesome. I'd like to thank my two top patrons. That is Nathan Bird and Renee. Thank you guys so much. If you want to learn how you can get your name mentioned on the show, head on over to patreon.com slash Pachudo. Another way, check this out. Another way that you can support me without spending any extra money is I'm going to post in the description down below a link to Amazon. Anything that you buy through that link, Amazon kicks the money back to me and it doesn't cost you anything extra. This link is gonna take you to the Amazon homepage. Anything that you buy will help support my show. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Enough wasting your time, enough promotion. Let's get back to making these clipboards. five minute epoxy that I'm going to mix up. So was this a complicated project? No. And that's the point. I wanted to show you that simple little project like this can be done quickly and easily and then you can then sell them at craft shows and places like Etsy. You could take a project like this and easily complicate it by doing some inlay or do some fancy patterns here, but I wanted to keep it nice and simple. That way I could batch out a whole bunch at one time to make efficient use of my time to keep my prices down for the upcoming craft show. I put out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Eric, when do I put out new videos? Every, every Tuesday, Tuesday and Thursday. Thursday. So 
so you have to subscribe to keep up with what we're doing. We do small projects like this, we do big projects like the stereo cabinet and everything in between. So please subscribe and give me that thumbs up if you like this video. Share it on your Facebook and Twitter feeds if you think I've earned it. That was fun. Was that fun, Eric? Yeah, man. We, we had fun today, right? Oh yeah. It's all about having fun. We're just trying to have some fun over here. As always, be safe, have fun, and make something. Excuse me, sir. Are you a registered voter? Sign here, please.